Hello friends, welcome to my channel Shifa's Kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make gulab jamun using milk powder. For this you will need 1 cup of sugar for the sugar syrup, 1 cup of milk powder, 3 tablespoon of maida or all purpose flour, 1 tablespoon of desi ghee, 4 to 5 tablespoon of warm milk, 1 a teaspoon of baking soda and 2 green cardamoms. First, we will add a sugar in the wok. To this, I will add almost 1 cup of water and we will let it cook till the sugar dissolves. As you can see, our sugar has completely dissolved. To this, I'll add two green cardamoms and half a lemon juice. We'll mix it and we'll let it cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, as you can see, our sugar syrup is done it is a watery consistency and not too thick if the sugar syrup is thick it won't get absorbed in the gulab jamuns now we'll make the gulab jamuns in the milk powder i'll add baking soda and maida or all purpose lard we'll mix it Properly to this, I add desi ghee, mix it with all the ingredients properly. To this, I'll add milk. With very gentle hand uh, and with no pressure, mix the gulab jamun better a dough. The dough which will be formed will be very sticky. Mix it properly. Our dough is ready as you can see. Now I'll make small the doughs out of it and we'll keep it. We will heat up the desi ghee. If you want, you can use oil, but best results are from ghee. We'll let it to heat up. Our ghee is done to this. I'll add a gulab jamuns. We'll fry them till they turn golden brown on slow flame. Don't add all at once or they will tend to stick to each other. As you can see they are done by one side. We will turn it on the other side and then fry it. Also, if you want the recipe for gulab jamun using paneer and khoya, please comment down below. I would be very happy to share the recipe of gulab jamun using paneer and khoya. This version is like a quicker version and you can make it very easily whereas for making the paneer and khoya ones you need a lot of tactics but then they are also easy to make if you follow my recipe now as you can see our gulab jamuns are done we we'll remove it out transfer them into the sugar syrup
now we'll cover them and we'll let them absorb the sugar syrup in them after half an hour you can see our gulab jamun have absorbed the sugar syrup in them and have done too soft I'll transfer them in the bowl. We'll add a bit of sugar syrup over it. I'll show you how soft and moist the gulab jamuns are. They are melted mouth gulab jamuns. as you can see the texture of the gulab jamun it is very soft and smooth and very tasty if you like my video please give a thumbs up also if you have some suggestions or requests to make feel please feel free to comment down below subscribe to my channel thank you